Welcome back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today we're working on the 1981 Camaro Z28 from Revell. This is a somewhat unique kit, but I think it's a little overpriced for what you get, but I believe it will still build up into a, a really super nice kit. So first off is the body. Well, I looked over the body and it's pretty pretty nice. Very little to zero flash, which I come to expect from Revell kits. The next parts tree is your front and rear fascia and your hood, your wheels. There is a little flash on there, but not a ton of flash. Next tree is your chassis. Now this is kind of a semi curbside kit if you will. The engine is built into the chassis. It should be fairly easy to detail though. Now these are your wheel backs and if you haven't already guessed this kit comes with plastic tires hard plastic tires these tires would be okay to use on that but I think the lettering is abnormally large for the tire so I think that would be I don't know out of proportion out of scale I may opt for some other tires. I have plenty of tires around here that I can swap these with and I'm going to look into doing that as I go along with building. This next tree is the top portion of your engine. That'll sit down on top of that. You can detail paint it and just it just fits in there. This is kind of a snap together kit if you will. You're going to have to use a little bit of glue here and there, I think, but for the most part, everything just kind of pushes together. On the next tree is your interior and suspension. Looks pretty... Yeah, that's just plain. That's There's a little bit of detail here, but it's very light. But the bottom of those door panels are just smooth plastic. And as usual, I don't take the glass out of the plastic bagging, uh, plastic packaging, I should say, until I'm ready to use it. But there's your T-tops, front and rear glasses, all one piece. I imagine if you wanted to make your T-tops removable, you would just have to carefully cut them along here and take the center piece off. And you might have to build some support inside the lip here to support that glass because otherwise it'll just fall down inside the body. Now this here is the best part of this kit. They give you virtually every color scheme decal. They give you four different color schemes for whatever paint color you want to paint the car. They also have your headlights, taillights as a decal, which is going to be unique. Let's put it that way. If you look on the fascia, let me pull that up again. It's molded in. You could just theoretically paint it to match. You don't have to necessarily put the decal on there. Or, you know, you can put the decal on. It'll just make it a little easier. It also comes with your gauges, but... Numbers three, four, five, six, and seven. Well, seven's not too bad, but three, four, five, and six, those are so tiny, they're going to be very difficult to apply to the dashboard. Other than that, I like the fact that they give you all these different color combinations so that you can paint it any color and have something to match. 
And finally, the decal sheet. Gives you a little history on the Camaro. Large pictures and color suggestions. Looks like it go together pretty easily. I'm going to have to check on the the wheels though. They have those push snap kind of fittings. I'm going to have to see if these wheels will fit into a, a rubber tire, not a plastic tire. I don't really like those tires that come with this kit. I seen this car featured on another channel and I thought the tires looked horrible on this kit so I'm gonna to have to come up with something a little bit different yep luckily there's not a whole lot of flash cleanup to do on this kit and well let me get started on that and I'll see you at the paint booth Okay guys, the uh, the tires are plastic and they have very large lettering on them. Well, these no longer have the lettering on them and let me show you how I deleted it. As you can see, now it's just a smooth wall tire. I could not find in all of the probably 200 rubber tires I have I could not find a set that would fit these really tiny rally wheels but they fit these tires quite well so that I decided well how can I how can I make that look right because the lettering was way out of scale and I thought it looked pretty nasty well not nasty yeah nasty <laughs> so I took my my drill I just keep a, a cheap drill around just for these kind of purposes this is actually more like a impact driver but whatever I use this on my camper for putting down my stabil stabilizer jacks and other small light kind of jobs driving screws whatever but anyway um, come on it's being stubborn now there we go I just have one of these I put a reducer on there quarter drive it's a 3 8 socket just chucked it up there the tire 
fits right on on a 3 8 socket and I took a piece of a 150 grit sandpaper which I've already put away took a 150 grit sandpaper and just started it up hook the sandpaper in there like this and spun it and just went from inboard all the way to the outer edge it only took about maybe a minute per tire to take off that lettering as I said the lettering was way out of scale um, at least in my opinion it was it kind of looked tacky so there there's another descriptor for it even still when you compare the rim to the tire sidewall it is not of scale I I don't believe it looks it looks like a I don't know <laughs> when you push that in there that sidewall looks a little bit bigger than it really should be um, it's almost like they have 14 inch rims on 16 inch tires or something I don't know it looks a little the sidewall looks a little tall for me if they would have cut that down even by a quarter of what they have there that would have looked more in scale but it is what it is like I said I tried to find um, I tried to find rubber tires the only ones I could find that would fit this rim were like uber skinny tires and they looked kind of funny actually the tires that went not that one the tires that came with that galaxy 500 the rims wouldn't even fit in those it, it was like I mean they sort of fit but you know not really kind of crappy anything other than, you know other than the the tires that came with this kit the 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 rim would not fit is it's way too big so I have a plethora of tires none of them would fit this rim and because the style of the suspension this has got the little pin it's not an axle it's just that little pin that you push the rim on until it clicks and to find it, it was kind of a like oh, I'm rambling here it would be difficult to find a combination of a rim that would push click lock onto the suspension that would fit the tire that the, it, it was a mess anyway that's why I resorted to just sanding the out of scale lettering off the tires these are still gonna look good as just plain wall tires after all if you look at the box art that's all they have on it anyway in the, on the box art it's just a plain black wall tire I'm not even sure yeah they don't even show the lettering on these tires on the smaller pictures so let's get on with the build now that I've had to settle on doing what I had to do here I think it'll look fine once I get these painted they should look fine I think they're a little out of scale for the car but it'll still look good all right well let's get back to it
All right, fellas, we're here putting the suspension together. I did discover something um, that you might want to know. This pin here in the middle of the front suspension goes down through the engine. And the way that hole was, was way too small. I had to take a drill and open it up so that pin would fit down in into the engine. Pull this up a little closer so you can see it. See how it just fits right down in the engine. Well, yeah, I got it going the right way. What the heck's going on here? Okay, that pin fits right down in there. Then these two fit down over those pins on the sides. Now I'm going to go back and th uh, through that and glue it once I'm done. This, this here just snaps into place. You can glue these or you can just snap them together and call it a day. Once, once I figure out how to do it. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Okay. That side's in. You know, for this being a snap together kit, it is, it has some difficulties. There we go. Yeah, it just kind of press fits in together. And that's all fine and good, but I'm still going to put some glue on these joints just to make sure that it doesn't just spontaneously pop apart. So there it is, front and rear suspension. As you can see, the engine is just about complete. I have to put the fan and belt assembly on it. And then the tires come next. I still have to put those together, so stand by. Okay, fellas, something I discovered. I put the wheels together all wrong. Uh, these, although everything is supposed to be press fit, these do not stay together while you're trying to put them onto the spindles here. So, I have gone back through and disassembled everything. And I'm going to start over. This time, I'm going to glue the rims into the tires and the backing on the back of the tires and then I'm going to let them set before I apply them to the spindles. I would suggest that you do that as well. Uh, because you have to paint these tires because they're plastic, make sure that the mating surfaces here along this edge and here along this edge where the rim meets is fairly well clear of paint otherwise you may have trouble getting your glue to adhere in hindsight I suppose you could put the tires together glue them together then paint them because the rims just press fit into that anyway and you just put a couple of little dabs of glue and then press that rim in there and that would be the end of that. You could uh, glue these backs on before you paint. And that would save you a lot of hassle. So I suggest that if you're going to use these tires and rims. To go ahead and glue the backs on before you paint. 
because like I said, if the back was already on that tire like this one is, this just presses in anyway. You just kind of press it like that with your thumbnails and it pokes out the other side. So you could theoretically glue these tires together, the two halves together, and then press the rims in. So let me go through that, go back through these. Add a little dab of glue to everything and get them installed on the chassis. Okay, fellas, because the end of the spindle sticks through the wheel, you're going to want to, well, I took my silver gel pen and painted the tips chrome you're also going to want to clean off any paint that's in this surface here because it makes it harder for the tires to snap in place and they really do kind of just snap when you push them down you're going to hear a snap just like that now it's going to be a little stiff they're not going to want to spin real easy but that's okay You don't have to glue them in place if you don't want it to roll because it'll be so stiff that they're just going to stay right there anyway. Bam. Oh, doggone. There we go. Whew. Crisis averted. Okay. The tires are on. We still have to apply some paint to the body. I've got it all primed up and ready to go. I just have to apply the paint. I'm going to be going with a sapphire blue metallic. And of course it's gonna be crafts, craft paint. This deco art uh, sapphire blue. I've used this on other vehicles. It turns out really well. I do like it a lot. And of course, on this one here, I think I'm going to add some dragonfly to it because it does have a good metallic color to it, but I want to give it a little bit more kick. And that dragonfly glaze does a great job of doing that. So let's get on to the paint booth. We still have to do the interior and I have to apply my sapphire blue and then the dragonfly glaze and then the clear coat. So that's going to take some time for it to set up and dry, but it's going to look fantastic when it's done. All right, let's, uh, Let's get over to the paint booth and I'll see you there.
All right, fellas, here we are. The 1981 Camaro Z28 is finished. Now this is a basically, basically it's a snap together. But that doesn't mean that you can't make it look good. Now earlier I told you guys about how I sanded off the lettering on the tires. It's because it was, to me, out of scale on the large side. So I decided to sand those off and I painted the tires flat black. And I think they turned out really well. I tried to replace them with tires from my uh, box, uh, parts box. I couldn't find any tires that would fit the rims and I couldn't switch the rims because the way they mounted to the axles. So I had to go with the box stock. I think they turned out well. Now the color is a sapphire blue. I believe that's a deco art color I used. Let me check that right quick. Yeah, this is deco art sapphire blue metallic that has uh, a coat of dragonfly glaze on it and two coats of clear. I decided to go with the orange stripes on this particular build because I saw pictures of a one-to-one -one car that was the same color scheme, the sapphire blue with the orange stripes, and I thought it really looked sharp, so I decided to go that route. I didn't like the decals for the headlights, so as usual I used the gemstones. The taillights on the other hand, I went with the decals because I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. It turned out well, surprisingly it turned out well. Uh, the hardest part was getting them to wrap around the corners, but I used a little of uh, this tester's decal set fluid that I just on a whim the other day purchased a bottle of it first bottle I've ever owned first bottle I've ever used and I when I bought it I didn't have an inkling that I was going to need it on this car but there you go I went with the black on black interior that seems a little mundane but it goes well with the sapphire blue I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the box below. You know the drill. If you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button and yeah, just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching Scale Auto Guys Workbench, and I'll see you on the next build.